Jim Lawton. John Conley. Gary. What's uh, How about David? Wayne Johnson's not here. Virgil and Terry Neal. Okay, that's all our veterans. Just give a hand clap for the veterans. And thank you for serving the country. Thank you. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Troublemaker is a veteran too. Okay, uh, Frank, uh, I mean, Tony, do you want to give a motion? Oh, I was drawing to my attention. Somebody's birthday is today, so we need to sing happy birthday to Mervyn. No, it's tomorrow. Or it's tomorrow? Yeah. Oh, it's tomorrow. Well, we'll sing it to Okay, uh, everybody, let's have a moment of silence. All right, everybody, enjoy your lunch and have a good evening. All right, bye. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Hi, everybody. My name is Chanel Garcia, and I'm from the Roseman News. Uh, I just wanted to say that, um, sorry if I cry, it wasn't, it wasn't until today, uh, that, um, are you recording? Yeah. I'm sorry. Let me go around. Okay. It wasn't until today that I realized how important Veterans Day was. Unfortunately, um, my dad is, uh, in the U.S. Uh, Air Force. He's traveled around the world, and uh, my parents are separated, so I've always been with my mother. Um, she did not show me how what he what he was going for. He didn't. She didn't. She didn't explain to me what he traveled for or uh, anything about the war, the importance of what he was doing for our country, and the sacrifices that he was making. Um, so I didn't have a relationship with my dad. I, I, didn't, I didn't know who he was or anything. It wasn't until this year that he retired and I finally get to have a relationship with him. And it's a big sacrifice that he made. And I just want to say thank you to you all. Um, it doesn't matter if you went to war or not. It doesn't, none of that matters. If you join the military, it's a sacrifice all in itself. And it's a very selfless act, and I just want to say thank you to you all. Thank you. Thank you. I, was, um, I, I joined um, back in 1966. I was in uh, Vietnam oh, oh. War. Wow. Yeah, so I was living in uh, Mississippi. I joined from Jackson, Mississippi. And uh, I went in and went to Basic, it was the Women's Army Corps at that time. It was all women, you know, the men and women were separated. So I started out with the Women's Army Corps, and from there I went to Fort Ward, Georgia, for a communication school, and I learned all about telephones, tele, uh, teletype, and, um, uh, the Mars radio stations and stuff. We had to set up uh, phones in the field, take all the big cables and carry them around. So I was a little country girl from Mississippi, got to meet all kind of people, different different people, and it was great. So from there I went to, um, after Fort Gordon, I came out to California. It was uh, Fort MacArthur. 
and I was stationed at Fort MacArthur, and I ETS stopped in uh, 1969, and then I got pregnant, I had a little girl in 1970, and I went back in in 1972. At that time, before that, women couldn't be pregnant and be in the service. So that's why I got out. I had to get out. And uh, they didn't know I was pregnant. I kept it a secret, but I was pregnant. We did, uh, I was in the marching band. Um, we, we did a lot of parades and uh, activities for uh, people that were retiring. Uh, lieutenants, uh, the generals, and whatever was retired. We went out to different places and did parades. Um, so it was good. I had the guy on. I was leading the, the, our platoon, the women. And so after um, I got out in 66, I had a baby, went back in 72. I went into the the Army National Guard in '72, and I went into the medical field. So I learned all about medicine, <laughs> all about medicine. But I was a uh, corpsman. After the the corpsman, I went into OR tech. So. Then I was in a unit called the 130 Evacuation Hospital out of Sacramento, uh, but I was stationed here in um, Los Alamitos. And we, we would go out and set up hospitals and stuff in the field and um, work out of the hospitals, you know, do surgery and whatever else, you know, take care of the troops mostly that was around. And, uh, if any uh, disasters or anything like that happened, we would go out and um, set up a hospital and help the people in the communities. And uh, like the earthquakes, there was two earthquakes we was, we was uh, evacuated to and we had to go out set up this uh, hospital and, and help out with the earthquake, the people that got injured and stuff like that. So that was, that was great. In the meantime, I still had my little girl and uh, I decided you know, I wanted to go to the Air Force. So I got an opportunity to go into the Air Force for a while and the Air National Guard, really. And I was in the Air National Guard and I didn't like it, went back to the, to the Army. <laughs> and I travel all through the United States and we would do physicals for the, the guys and the girls to go to um, if they was called out to war. So we had the physicals already ready, so all they had to do was get on the plane, or, you know, or train or whatever, and go to their duty station. So we, we went through the state store, the physicals, and we also went to um, uh, Puerto Rico, and uh, uh, there was another place. Um, a couple other places, I forgot the name of it, <laughs> but, wow. but we went, yeah, went through it. And we would work with the, the people in the community, usually doing blood pressures, um, just get, doing the physical on, on them, you know, making sure that they were okay, and, and so it was great for the whole. After I retired, 1997, I stayed in to 1997, retired, 26 years in military service. I wanted to work at the Los Angeles MEPS. Uh, that's where they introduce, well, well, we take all the, the people that come in, go to all the different branches of services, Army, Air Force, Navy, Marine, and Coast Guard. And we do physicals. I was doing the physicals. The, the MELPS is located in Los Angeles. And uh, I moved up to Roseman. And then I commuted all the way to, to Los Angeles every day. Uh, we had to be at work at 5.30. So I got up at 3 o'clock and 
and drove. Uh, it was three of us. It was three ladies. Uh, I had one lady was working with me, and another one worked for the Navy. So we, we drove every day to the Los Angeles Mills. <laughs> and the physicals on some days it'd be 110 uh, girls and guys that come in. And we did physicals on them. And the, the average, I guess, would say 60, 60 something, at least every day. We had to do the complete physicals, they get testing, um, and then ship them out to the uh, basic training. All of that's done at the Los Angeles Mills. And I did that for 20 years. So, all together, I had uh, 46 years of service, military service. Nice. So, so it was great. That's yeah, huge. <laughs> well, thank you for that. So that's my army career. <laughs> Not the Air Force. <laughs> Why didn't you like the Air Force? Well, I was used to the Army because um, we went out and did stuff, a lot of stuff all the time. And the Air Force, the unit I was in, the Air Force, it was just the one basic thing that we done. And it was quiet. You know, everything was so organized. And the Army, you just going every which way. You know? <laughs> yeah, but uh, I don't know. I think that was one thing. I was used to the Army already. And then to, to go out to a different branch of service, it was. It was just wasn't the same. Yeah. So, and your daughter, yeah. what did your daughter end up doing? My daughter ended up doing nothing. <laughs> <laughs> and she still don't do anything. <laughs> she, she didn't want any part of the service. Um, and, uh, but she supported me, you know, while I was there, you know, when I had to go somewhere. She, she was good, you know. She, I said, go here, go there, stay with so and so. That's what she used to tell me. You're not with everybody. Uh -huh. yeah, I said, no, I did not. <laughs> She didn't go into the service. So I, I had one daughter and now three grandkids and one great grand uh, son. Just, he's about 10 months old. So. <laughs> she, she, she kind of followed me everywhere. She don't want anything to do with it, so now she's more retired than I am. <laughs> she kicked back. <laughs> well, thank you for sharing your story. Hello. Um, <laughs> we are very smart children, and today we are going to be explaining to you what Veterans Day is. Okay. So, first of all, what is your name? Jasmine. <laughs> what is my name? <laughs> Man. Man. <laughs> and my name is Sheila. And we are going to be teaching you in a best friend style what Veterans <laughs> Day is. My teacher told me that Veterans Day is a day that you celebrate people in the Army. Also, there are lots of veterans out there who don't have families. So yesterday in my class, we wrote a letter for all of those veterans who do not have families. If you're a veteran and you, and you don't have family and you're watching this right now, thank you for risking your life just to keep America happy. America is very grateful for all of those veterans out there who well, are in the Army. So, um... Bye, and we hope all we hope everybody has a great day, and we hope everybody can ask for more videos <laughs> on a, in, or on important facts. Bye. Bye.